things are so much fun to catch and we're tripled up right now on fish this big or bigger. All right, bye. So nice out here. Yes! Yeah. Oh wow, dude, you got a giant. <laughs> dude, a quick release, beautiful fish. I would never do it. Oh yeah. That was yellow for sure. Mm. Isn't it good? What is up out there everyone? Welcome to part four of our Alaskan fishing adventure. If you guys are SB fishing fans or if you are brand new to our channel, be sure to tap that subscribe button down here in the corner. It'd be much appreciated if you guys subscribe to our channel. And we're making a bunch of content for all you addicts and all you fishing fans out there in the world. And this is just a sneak peek of some of it right here. Here's day four. This is what, what's day four starting like? Oh! Oh! Just like that. Floppy, <laughs> floppy. There they are. He's still pretty lively. We're gonna get him going. I'm gonna keep talking Whoa! Later. later, bud. That is how this whole entire trip has been, Addicts. I'm, I'm, I hope you guys have loved being along for the ride on this trip. Again, do not forget, subscribe to SB Fishing. We're gonna put a link down in the description to his channel down below, so make sure if you haven't subscribed, go check it out. He's got 48 states that he's fished. This was number 49. 49 is in the books in a big way. In a big, in a big, big way. way. Thanks so much, Addicts. Stay tuned for some awesome fish catching today. ready for some adventure. Look at that, dude. It's my biggest rainbow trout ever. That's a fish, got him. Has anyone out there watching had this happen before? I keep having my fly line. I'm not no fly fisherman, so I don't know anything about this bullshit, but I keep having my fly line like separate from itself and expose the fluorocarbon underneath, which is really annoying. Get him? And Jordan's got a fish on. So while I'm sitting here messing with my damn fly line, Jordan hooked me up with the freaking jank setup. He's over there just sluice boxing the fish. It's all right though. It took me way down. Oh, that's a nice fish. He's out there just running my line through all the sockeye, trying to cut me off. Too smart for his own good, everybody. Get a little, little bit nicer to him. Wow, what a sneaky guy. Look at that thing. What a fish. Take it easy there, pal. See you later. Well, that was fun. First one of the day. What do you guys think of this trip so far? I'm going to be staying up here for a couple more weeks after these guys leave, but God, some outrageous fishing. I don't even know. If you guys watched SB Fishing's episode yesterday, um, you'll see how many fish we caught. I bet yesterday we caught over 100 trout. It was impressive with a bunch of beginners. My arm hurt. I ended up, I had to hang it up by the end of the day because I got pretty worn out. But what do you guys think about this stuff? Be sure to comment below because we're going to keep traveling. We're going to start going to all kinds of places, bring you guys these awesome episodes where we go out and about and go adventure and explore and go camp with the bears so that you guys can laugh at us and watch us do stuff. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Caught him. That was cool. I was just hanging it off of that ledge in that deep bucket. And he came up and just smashed it. Just smashed it. Would you let me get in front for once? <laughs> Jordan's always leading the hole. He's Take like, oh, I'm just going to stand. I'm going to start up here. I think fishing's better up here. Wow, this thing's kicking my ass. Oh, he came off. 
There he is. <laughs> God, it's something with this current, because this one's not that big, and I'm getting my ass kicked again. Wow, this one's got some cool colors. That's a beaut. Just a specimen. Look at the spots on these fish, everybody. True wild rainbows. True. True. Right where they belong, in the wild. All right. This bead's on fire. They're all right here. You're casting too far. He's chasing my bead down. Oh! He literally was. Watch this. Oh, now your line's in the way. What's all our fellow addicts out there think about Marlin bead fishing and fly fishing at the same time? We talked about it in our last episode, but I really think we should emphasize on it. Comment below with how proud you are of Mr. Marlin. Opening up my horizons. <laughs> You're very broad. I'm starting to feel very feminine. <laughs> Look at that one right there. It's a real. Oh, oh, yeah! It's a yumper. Dude, that was screaming. I was pointing at that one with my rod. It just freaking grabbed it. These are fun, fun fish. These, they don't fight like any trout I've ever seen, that's for sure. Oh, he came off. That's all right, quick release, I like it. Oh boy. Fish on! Woo. That's all one, guys. Hey, all you addicts out there, if you guys are new to our channel and you have not subscribed to SP Fishing, we're gonna drop a link down below. Make sure you guys head down below and head over to his channel and subscribe because you're gonna get to see part one and part three of this series. So if you don't go check out his channel, you ain't gonna be able to see these. So make sure you head over there, tap subscribe, turn on that bell notification. I know he's got a bunch more sweet stuff planned. Like, I heard you're going to Hawaii at some point. <laughs> he's gonna go chase and fish in Hawaii. So make sure you guys head over there and subscribe. Oh, look how. I'm gonna give it that's a big one. Hi. Right. Look at him. Look at him. That's a good one. <laughs> this is oh, a wild animal. Oh, no. What a ripoff. Dang it. I wanted to touch that one. Him and I were about to have a moment. You know, when you get into these species of fish that are really keying in, like, you know, we're fly fishing, we're basically, like all fly fishermen say, we're matching the hatch. And what you're looking for, like out here, of course, all these sockeye are spawning. That's the only reason these trout are in here. So having to go through and like change beads and find the different colors of beads that emulate the period of the hatch that's going on is, is super interesting. And like yesterday, well, even in this hole, we fished through it three or four times. Our, our buddy just fished it up here. I watched him hook like six or seven. We walked up here with a different color bead and right off the bat, just bang, bang, bang. So it's pretty neat how it works out. Oh. Ah! You ate it though. All right, everybody, so this is why the trout are here. Get this hook out. So these bad boys are about, I don't know, I'd say, how far, 150, 200 miles from the ocean? No, like, uh, like 85, 90. Right about 100 miles from the ocean. They come all the way up through a lake, and up there's a series of lakes that go all the way up the river system. So these fish come all the way up to do their business in the ground, and the trout follow them. Thank God the trout follow them. Wow. 
what would this world do without sweet cream covered in nougaty caramel and peanut salty nuts? Wow. Thank you, kind sir, whoever invented this. A good 10 steps you'd be here. A good 10 downs. But he don't look like he's really uh, keen on moving too quickly right now. Dude, this is the hunting ground right here. Munch, 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 munch. I always love the way they chew. Alright addicts, let's see if we can do this. Jordan's rowing down the river. We're gonna give him his treats for his good job yeah, he's doing. Yeah, <laughs> this is his tip. Alright dude. Oh my god, horrible throw. James could have got that one. I got it. Okay, this one will be better. This one will be better. <laughs> oh! I thought you got it. I was like, Still what a too catch. far. Okay, one more. Last I'm attempt. Backstop. Last attempt. Will we make it? That's the one. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> I'm pretty sure I drooled on my glasses too. <laughs> Something happened there. All right, everyone, here's the plan. Matt and James, they're going down river. They're gonna hit a couple riffles. We're gonna get our boy Sean, who's brought to you these amazing episodes in this amazing series. We're gonna get him on a fish, hopefully, so stay tuned. I'm on the camera now. Got the GoPro 7 in tow. We're gonna go see if we can't get Sean a trophy trout. Thank you so much for tuning in, everyone. We really appreciate you guys tuning in this little mini series. And big shout out to SB Fishing for coming out and hanging out with us. And all you SB Fishing fans that are watching, thank you so much for coming to our channel. We have a whole bunch more content like this that we're planning on putting out. So be sure to tap that subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications. We'll bring you some pretty cool fishing content if you guys are into it. So, addicts, SB fans. Sean's on a trout real soon. Stay tuned. All right, Jordan's getting rigged up here. We're going to go ahead and put a fresh leader on just because we don't want Sean to break off if he hooks a trophy. So basically, he's got his fluorocarbon there, and then he's putting his little, it's eight mil bead. That one's an eight. Eight mil. Doing just a little loop around it to keep hold it in place, which just makes it easy. And then he's got his size four Mustad fine wire hook. Now we're adding a split shot as well to the leader just to keep that bead kind of down in the zone. Looks like Jordan's gonna get creative here and cut a little bit of it off with his Gerber scissors. Not advised at home, children, but it, these scissors work well for this kind of stuff. But they, it will dull your blades. It's just lead, no big deal. And the last piece of the puzzle, which is not needed 100%, but we got an indicator on there. We're Basically like a little Sean's, float. So it makes it a little easier for him to... Sean has never fly fished before in his life. So he was, uh, he, he's new. He's new. All right, Seanzilla, come on out. You want to hold that rod just like this. Hold it right under your index finger or middle finger. That way you can hold on to that line. Now strip some more line out. Let go of that one and grab this. There you go. Now strip it. One more. Right there. Okay. Now slowly go back over your head and then straight back out again. That's it. Yeah, that was good, Slower Sean. The better. You're figuring that out right away. Let that ride right there. Let line out. Yep, you can do that. There you go. Ooh, fishy. Just like you did. Okay, go ahead. Same thing. Nice and slow like you did. That was perfect. There you go. I'll start stripping some line out. Give it a little line. Sean's got one on! That's all right. I'll do it for you. Give your hand. Okay, good job, Dieter. Woo, fish! Oh! The old Moby Dick head shake. Nice job, dude. Let's get another one. Sean's trying to get one. Jordan's got one on. James and Matt are walking up river. 
Oh, there it is. Now you're in it. That should be a fish. Come on. Give it to him. There it is, Sean. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Double, doubled up on a first round. Oh. Another fish. Come on over, brother man. Look at that. That's a hell of a first. Oh. Here, turn it into the sun That's there. A cool fish. Like that. Wow, dude. Good job, Sean. James is on one. That's a cool fish. It's all colored cool. It's freaking messing you up. Nice fish. Nice. Pretty. First fish for me of the day. First fish of the day, and she's a she's a wily one. She's a fighter. Alright, well there you go. See you later, buddy. They're feisty today. They are. Yeah, let's do it. The the main bucket of this is pretty darn good. And that guy's rushing for the, the hole below here, so we'll give it to him. Ooh, that's a really ooh, oh, ooh, oh, ooh, ooh, oh, that's cool. It's time for a pounding. Here we go, Sean's attempt. Oh, that's that's in the zone. That's in the zone. Keep it going. He's got it, he's got it. Oh my God, he had it. Come on, dude, you can do it. Get him. There it is. That's the one. Come on. Oh my God. Sean, walk up this way a little bit and see how it buckets out over there in the green. Run that green line over there. Got him, got him, got him. Doubled up, baby. That's a huge chrome fish. Oh my. Jordan's God. on one. Oh my God. Yes. Ouch. Oh, knuckle buster, dude. Oh my God, he pulled loose. Cody Lindbergh. <laughs> <laughs> she see that? Oh, this guy's been caught a couple of times. Holy crap, look at his mouth. He's all deformed. He's got a bucket mouth. That was so cool. <laughs> this wasn't even a rod thing. Coming for you, Sean. Stay where you're at, you're fine. Stay there. It's chasing sockeye, dude, you're fine. Dude, he's coming towards the sockeye, look. He doesn't care about you. Got him. Oh my God, I got the stock eye next to him. He ate it. Side by side. Oh. Then too close to him. There we go. That's cast. Oh my god. Oh, there's a big one. That one is out. That one is out. Here we go. Oh my god. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> that was so awesome. I was about to start walking and I saw this little guy show himself. He couldn't help it. The old knuckle buster. Oh my god. <laughs> There's backing. Oh my god. Holy crap. That hurt the heck out of my hand. 
Oh man. Grunts coming from all over the place. Now all we need is that bear to come back. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try to slowly just lift him and get him. Yep. Just kidding. <laughs> Can't get him on the surface. No, he's bulldog me. Oh, <laughs> Saeed. Next time. Nice. Thank you, Abe. Thank you, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Nice That's fish. the best fish yet. Oh yeah. Holy crap. Marlon, come look at this. Nice one. Holy shnikes. That's gonna need the pliers. Here. Gerbers all around. Ching, ching, ching. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm not gonna be able to live without these things. They are pretty sweet. They are. They? Got it. Wow. Look at this. Look at this fish, America. It's a lot like a steel. Please yeah. drop them into the net if you're gonna drop them. 23 on the dot. Yep. 20, 24. 24, 24 to the, the tip. Nose. second fish of the day. I'm in love with fishing for these fish now. So pretty. I wonder how many times you've hooked this guy already. What a cool fish. It's gonna go. Well, that was an all out success. I've been pushing for this hole for what, two hours now? And she didn't disappoint. We smashed him. We got him. Everybody had their turn. You should float over that so we can see how many are sitting in this deep hole. Oh my gosh. Look at them all. Look at all the ones we didn't catch. There's the bush Marlin kept snagging. The mom's right there, Jordan. I know. We're just gonna have to hold it She's out. She's gonna jump in again, Matt. What do you think, America? Is it worth a few trout? I think so. There's two of them right there. Let's fish it. Hey, Abe! Oh, there's another big bear in the middle of the river. Which channel did you go down? Uh, left. Oh, good. <laughs> Probably a good choice. We went down the right and we get in there and like right blocking the entire river is the mom and a cub. Like a big bee. Mom and a cub. And we had like, it was very close encounter. <laughs> One of the closer, I must say. That will do it. Oh my God. Why didn't I set the hook? Got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was awesome. There was like a little pack of them over there. It's funny, you can almost always tell what fish is gonna hit. Just, I mean, it doesn't matter what species. Those fish, those certain ones that are high in the river column, sitting up near the surface, just straight up pursuit angle, like a little velociraptor. That's a easy on me, that's a big fish too, holy crap. Right. 
Look at that thing. Oh, man, man. What a creature. Back here. Oh, perfect. All right. Got a little facial. Go back in action now. day has grown to an end here. All that's left is me rowing. Nice pretty view. Some rap rolling. Maybe a, a little celebratory cheers for a great trip. But pretty much wrapped up the fishing today. Put the rods down. Now it's time to go get ready to clean up and fly these boys home. Back to the lower 48. Isn't it fun to say that? Lower 48. Oh, down there in the lower 48. Hope you guys are enjoying today. I know we sure are. These guys seem like they're enjoying themselves right now. <laughs> everybody so I'm sitting here with our friend and, and owner of Intricate Bay Lodge Brian and uh, man we've had a fantastic time everything was smooth the flights were nice the fishing was out, outstanding I mean I couldn't ask for anything more but we want to take a minute and come to you guys and give you a little bit of a backstory on this place so that if you want to come up here and enjoy this beautiful area and some of these awesome fisheries this is your guy right here so tell us a little bit about the lodge a little bit about what you guys offer we've talked about it a little bit but let's hear it from the from the horse's mouth yeah, once again, my name's Brian, um, owner operator of Intricate Bay Lodge. How I got started, uh, it's a fishing guide here 15 years ago. Started flying airplanes and uh, had the opportunity to purchase it in 2011. Kind of the coolest thing I found about this lodge since getting to come up here the last couple of years is the versatility of waking up in the morning and wherever your guide thinks is best is where you're gonna go that day, you know? And, and so how many, how many different spots do you guys pretty much fly to that you can do these overnights and stuff? Yeah, within an hour flight, we have over 20 locations. Yeah. That um, a lot of places we have jet boats stashed. We do walking ways. We do float trips. Uh, you know, chase all five species of salmon, rainbow, trout, char, dolly, yeah. grayling. So one thing that was kind of special as we showed up this year is just adjacent on the other side of this little island here, you guys bought another adjacent lodge, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We purchased uh, in July uh, Cusack's Adventure Lodge. Yeah. Um, so we're expanding the operation a little bit. Intricate Bay is not going to change. It's going to remain, you know, a nice, cozy, quaint, ten-person lodge. And uh, Cusacks is going to be, you know, a very personal six-person lodge. Yeah. Well, you guys saw some of that in this video. It's where we were staying the last couple nights. We weren't on the river, and it's cozy. Yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's comfortable. Really nice. it's, it's very nice. It's, it's what people think about, you know, when they think of an Alaskan lodge. So if you guys want to come here, we'll put a link in the description for Intricate Bay Lodge. If you guys have missed any of these episodes in this ep this four series episode, you need to go over to SB Fishing's page on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe to his page and watch the other two episodes that came out with this trip that we did up here in Alaska. So be sure if you like this, drop a like. Definitely comment with what you thought about this Alaskan trip, if it's something that you guys have ever dreamed about doing, if it's on your bucket list, or if you have a trip planned. Just just say something below, get that conversation started. Comment, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube page. If you're over here from SB Fishing, this is Addicted Fishing. We do all kinds of tutorials, all kinds of adventure trips, and just a fun addicted life that we do every Sunday, so don't miss those. And thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. Stay fishy, we'll see you out there.